What's going on? You're off another key with the more. Welcome to episode 30 of the drive. Uh, it's international footy time, baby. Oh yeah. Uh, we've just had the Prime Minister's 13 matches. Um, we'll start with them, mate. What do you think about the the match as a whole? Like the, oh, the it was, idea. It, it was. I like it as a whole. The concept is great. Yeah. The match itself it was so scrappy. I'm like, yeah. just, so, I'm not just trying to hang shit on them because I get. It. Maybe half of them they ain't gonna is in the top is in the top four team, but just like the silly mistakes. Like there's one stage there, PNG had the ball four sets in a row, and it didn't score. Yeah. I'm like, mate, like even little things like the kickoff. Like everyone's waiting there, but there's no ball on the tee to kick yeah, off. Yeah, that's bad. I'm like, that's like a bit amateurish, you know? Yeah. Which could potentially reflect on the expansion teams as well. Yeah. If it eventually gets there. But as a whole though, if you're talking about the game itself, Brooks and Wishart were the difference makers. Yeah. They played so good when it came on the be- the pitch. Brooks is really good. Um I Brooksy for the number seven, kick off Moses. Yeah. Why not? I'm being uh, sarcastic. Mo- Moses is the New South Wales greatest seven since Joey, so I think he's earned his uh Australia spot. But um the Prime Minister's match as a whole, firstly I, I I think it should always stay in Papua New Guinea. Um, I don't know. I think this a good idea. Could the we last, share it? the last, yeah, because the last two years have now been Papua New Guinea, but the year before that was in Australia. Um, but like, I think the atmosphere is there. There is cool. Um, oh, sure. Bring it to Australia. Like, what's what does it really achieve? Bring it to Australia. Well, I'm hopefully the um, Papua New Guinea crowd from Sydney or, or Queensland or from wherever. Yeah, I, I think because like, but cause I get they can mean. they can all go to like a regular Australia. Uh, like a PNG match if they're played here or anything but like having a PNG versus Australia match in Papua New Guinea once a year I, I do like it I, and it, it gives a chance for the for some young people and that to, to get um, some experience like in Gavin uh, or give the it, fight oh, it's sorry. also a good ex- it's also a good excuse to get some Tigers players in the green and gold jersey because I, I think a lot of them uh, uh, Besides Galvin, maybe in the future, are very, very far away from an Australian jersey. Um, so, I also I, think I like I like seeing Galvin and see Fath go. Sorry, I like seeing Galvin and see Fath go uh, for for Australia. That even if Galvin didn't play his best game, yeah, a couple of nice passes. And yeah, um, the wind the wind was crazy. Oh, um, yeah. Some passes were shocking. One of them, especially from Carl Pereira. Oh, mate, I think you think it was Tom Brady, eh? Yeah, went eight meters forward. Um, Mainly. Yeah, so the wind, the the wind was must have been crazy there. Um, well, like you saw the kicking. Yeah, Gag was basically kicking to the sideline, the opposite end, and then went to hit the post. I'm like, yeah. geez, little boys. Um, yeah, as as a whole, I, I like the concept, um, but I don't know, like it, the it it was forty two to twenty. Uh, PNG were up ten nil or twelve nil to start the game. Yeah, ten nil, I think. Yeah, ten. Um, and it was like you didn't think they'd win, but it's like oh, they're actually playing. They're playing well. Um, well, you get the battle of the goat cages, Demetrio and Fitler, oh, mate. Oh. Is Demetrio the PNG? Yeah. Oh wow, I did not know that. Yeah, um, yeah like it was <laughs> Demetrio and Fitler. Um, I know. Clown, ask Clown. Why the last Clown? Yeah. Uh, like it, it was. It, it. I don't. I don't know how I feel about in, the international. Footy total oh. at the moment, but the PNG one, it's like I don't think PNG will win at least for another five, ten years. At least, um, I think this is the closest one yet 42 20. But I don't think Australia played well at all. Um, they played both teams play good in patches, but I think yeah. when they're um, firing up, right, just there was just too much momentum, you couldn't stop them with Wishaw and Brooks, yeah. Like again, I wish I had him Brooks. Well, Pro Brooks would be my man of the match, I reckon. Yeah. Um, Luke you Brooks. Yeah. How good. He was, um, he was good. I mean, his yeah. when his plays good. Yeah. Also, um, one little thing. Yeah. One thing I like about it is like, is give people on the fringes. Yeah. Or people the last flowers. Like Cookie, I think he's getting his flowers because this is probably his last yeah. rep game. He, like, you assume so? You can't just give. You can't just. As, otherwise, it'd be like under 19 in Australia. Like you need still, 20s. you still need, you need like a, a little head. bit of experience to yeah. like. And him and Fogarty, like I really love Fogarty, like, yeah. he, like it would be guiding 
Garvin around the pitch, I reckon. Yeah. So. Um, and yeah. Brooks is older. Like, he's... He's... He's 29. I, I don't think he was... He's kind of an experience of pick, but kind of like... You're actually playing... Good for you. Um, Bit of both. Great footy, time to reward you kind of thing. Um, but yeah, like... Uh, it was 42-20. It was the closest I think it's ever been, but it still didn't... Uh, PNG never really looked like winning. Oh, the opening uh, 10 minutes. Maybe the start, but yeah. you... You like the whole atmosphere. I like the atmosphere. I like oh, all that. That was great. Um, like, credit to industry. like, there was like, again, going back to the four sets when they defended on their line, the PNG team, like, they're like going ballistic for every tackle. Yeah. It was actually like, all right, that's actually pretty cool. It's like, like, they, acting like they scored the try, but it was still great. You yeah. know, you need that. Um, it, it's, it's cool seeing them like absolutely go crazy for like little things. Um, and then when they score, it's like, wow. They go ballistic, ballistic. Um, so yeah, and then the women's game, it was 50 nil to Australia. They four nil half time. Yeah, half time 44 nil. Yeah. They, yeah. I knew I knew they pumped them. I don't remember what score. Was, yes. Because I remember I think Chapman was one of the last tries before half time where they. It was I'm not sure what they tried, but then Chapman got the ball by 30, 40 meters out, stepped a couple of them, yeah. and then it was she was. In the backfield, and it was actually pretty good. Yeah. She is so fucking fast, Dad. So yeah, she's got some set of wheels on her, man. Um, I think the 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 women's uh, Australia squad was closer to their like actual Australia Jillaroo squad than I think the men are. The men are like a lot younger. Um, it's so more think, like a real yeah, team. The, yeah, it's closer to the actual Jillaroos. So. It probably explains the scoreline a bit more. I do know, I do recognise more of the um, the PNG women's team, to be honest, than the men's. Um, like quite a, quite a bit of NRW experience in the team. Um, I'll try and find some of the names. Anyway, it was. I know it was a 15 year, but at least they tried to put a stronger team on paper. It made sense. Yeah. I think the PM girls were just on it. Um, I like with the with the 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 way they picked the squads. It's weird because like PNG, they aren't even picking their full strength side. Like it makes sense Australia aren't. It when PNG aren't picking their full strength sides, like they're already kind of gonna struggle to win, and not having like Coates or Olam or any of like they're saving them for the Pacific uh, Pacific Championship, so it makes sense. But it's like I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I I, I like it, and it's good for like Papua New Guineans to experience an Australia team come and play in their thing against their country. Like, they know, they would know Australia is obviously the top. They'd be probably um, more likely to know the Australian team than the PNG team. Yeah, true. Um, so, it's, like, PNG, the National Sports Rugby League, they, they love it, so it's good to see them get that. Um, but, it, yeah, it, it's, I'm still not sure how I feel about the inter international game as a whole, um, which we'll get into now. Um, I love it. I really rate it, the international. Yeah. Really, it still doesn't feel like Origin. There's a butt to this, though. I think the international game is stronger than ever. Like, look at that New South Wales team. Half of them are Samoans, eh? Yeah. With Crichton, Toho, Luai. And impact the Japan Haas making the switch from the Kangaroos yeah. to Samoa. Like, um, you know, that's massive. Yeah. Getting. I like... I. It's better than it's been the last, like, 10 years. But... I, I don't know, like, as a kid, I remember watching Australia, New Zealand, and it felt like, like an Anzac test. It felt like the biggest deal. Like, it, it felt bigger than Origin. Origin feels bigger than the international game right now. But I like I like that the international game is more 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 well-rounded than it than it used to be. Oh, with like the, the teams the, are equal. The Samoans and the Tongans, they're, like, choosing their nation over Australia. Um, but it's... It, I don't know, like... It, like an Australia versus New Zealand now doesn't feel like an Australian New Zealand back in 2010. I don't know. Like, it, it also doesn't help that you've got Cleary out, you've got Liam Martin out, you've got Jerome Hughes out for New Zealand. Payne Haas is out. Uh, Payne Haas is out. Like, it, I don't know if it's because they're missing names, especially Cleary. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what... I'm, I don't even know what my opinion is. Like it's. I think you're dribbling because I think the international game is it, stronger than it ever I know. has been. Like we like, said, the Tongans just, four pack. You can match up any team 
right now. Yeah. Like you got Paseca and Kamatangi on the bench. You know, that's mental. Yeah. Like Paseca was a little bit of a smaky for Origin and what you said, you reckon Kamatangi was a bit unlucky to miss out on Origin this year. Yeah. Like with Fanua Blake starting, Tom Alolo starting, Kafisi starting, Eli Katoa's there. And there's these other back row they got all of them. Yes. Well, it's a set better than Blocker then, but this, so that pack is massive. Uh, yeah, Tongan, their full pack's great. Like, uh, everything except, I don't know. The spine. No, like, I mean, everything except Australia, like, the, the, the tier two nations, billion times better than they ever have been. Um, oh, they went before with the other two teams. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, I don't know. I don't know. It might be because I'm just burnt out from footy, to be honest. Like, the, especially the last two weeks I have been so hectic, so busy, um, trying to, like, I went to three days of fan fest, the Bondi thing, grand final, plus, like, the Dally M's, and I went to a concert, and then I've got, like, I've been hella busy, and I'm so exhausted, um, but I don't know, I don't know if it's because I'm exhausted that the international footy isn't, like, super exciting to me right now, it doesn't, it, do you, do you think it's, it's, Bigger than Origin, or is it? Oh, Origin's still the pinnacle. Or, so you think Origin's the pinnacle over Australia? I think, yes. Yeah. No disrespect to the, no disrespect to the Samoans and the Tongans. The Queensland versus New South Wales feels like an all-star game that, that yeah. matters. Like, imagine this straight up fairly. Mm. One star, or someone will, will miss out. You know what I mean? Uh, Munster or Dean's missing out. Two absolute dumb five eights. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or Cherry Evans or Cleary. One of them is missing out. Just shows you. Unless they're like 14. Yeah, like, 14. No, that's unlikely. Yeah. Um, apparently, like DCE and Cleary are both missing out. Moses got picked. So that's the third string is the gun. Yeah, it's because of, it's because of injury in that. Like, I don't know, being towards the end of the season, people have just played finals and now they're like, they've got to get, get off their benders and, and, um, Play international footy. Sorry, Mad Monday. Um, like, it, they've they've had a couple weeks, but like, it, I don't know if it feels too quick. I don't know. Like the World Cup felt the World Cup did feel big. Oh, that was massive. In, the one in England. When but like Pacific Championship last year, I, I, even then, I was like, I, like I don't know. I don't know because it the international game's growing. It's great for the game, but it just doesn't excite me. I'll def I'll tell you why probably last year felt a bit different. Yeah. Because the last two games were dead rubber. Because you knew that New Zealand um, Australia match the week before the final when Magic pins them, they already knew that was going to be the final anyway. Yeah, because like because New Zealand won thirty nil, they destroyed Australia. Yeah, and the, but the week before it was like nearly double around. Oh yeah, I think Australia did beat them quite by quite a bit, didn't they? Yeah, in the week before, and so like yeah, like you can tell um, maybe that's why the, the last round was a dead rubber, and then the final itself was very good. I was invested. Yeah, the final, are pumping. The final year, like I don't know. I like I feel like I'm like maybe it's a little just bit hating or something. But like oh, it might be a bit loud. But um, yeah, like it, it it just doesn't. I don't know. I I I genuinely do not know how I feel about it. With like the like the whole the whole international space is so much better. But it just doesn't excite me as much as it used to, like, when I was a kid. Like, watching it... I don't know why they got rid of the Anzac Day test. Like, I think it, the Anzac rounds of... Uh, I know yeah, what you mean. Like, the Anzac Day test felt like the pinnacle. That's where it felt like Australia meant more than Origin. Since they've scrapped it, it kind of just doesn't. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's because of the, the calibre of the players we had back then. Cam Smith, Lockie, JT, Billy, Cronk, Inglis. Um... Maybe I don't know. Like right now, like those the, those are like Queensland had eleven Hall of Famers, and then you add the best of New South Wales to it. Paul Gallen. Um, They've rated, but yeah. Actually, there wasn't much that New South Wales added to that team. Um, Who was it? Maybe just Gidley as a fourteen. That was back yeah, like, in the day. There was a there was a few. Gallen was the main guy, I think. Uh, Luke Lewis. Uh, Brett Morris. Uh, plays like that, but like it just, it, I don't. Anyway, am I onto something? No, like am I just dribbling? Am I just the dribble? Yeah, I, 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 feel say like I, I feel like I'm I'll in the minority. I'll say this though: if once the NRL eventually to twenty teams, 
I want the rep month. I want the rep month so bad so the yeah. teams can gel a lot more. Like having having a rep month. And they can get the combos a bit better. Uh, for Origin and for the international game. It'll mean a lot of people like Toto, Crichton, Luai, they, they won't be playing in Origin. They'll be playing for their, their countries more than likely. Um, the thing with a rep month is like you, you pause the game, uh, you pause the NRL, uh, you you then um, like okay. I thought I thought we ran out of storage. Oh my god, that was that was happened, that uh, happened, that we recorded this before and tracked it out three minutes in. Yeah. Anyway, so but yeah. back that I would do C V country week one. Bringing back City vs Country. Yes, I love it. I and actually make a genuine like I'm not saying the whole thing like this decides the origin, but like it's a little bit of a preview who you can see. In future years though, because what I would say is you can't really have origin three weeks in a row. Like you can, but it's a lot of lot to ask about your players to, to play three origin games in three weeks. I need to try to find that. Um, play have three origin uh, games in three weeks is like a big big ask. But having a two week gap, then you've got like five weeks of no footy, six weeks if you count the week before in camp. So what I would do, I would have game one be on a Wednesday, game two be on a Sunday, like 10 days later, 11 days later, and then the game three be the Wednesday, 10 or 11 days after the Sunday. Um, that way it's like a, it's like a one and a half week build up. Uh, the Sunday, I don't know, because they've tried a Sunday game of Origin back during COVID. Yeah, it was during COVID. Um, was, that a, was that back to back to back weeks? Yeah. Or was that two week gaps? I think it was two week gaps, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember, because COVID was a weird time. It was after the footy season. It just merges into one A. But like, see, even then, after the grand final, that Origin season, that Origin kind of felt flat quite a bit. No, it didn't. Uh, no, yeah, that's the pro sure. most heated. No, that's the most heated, because... Gallon hyped up the Queensland and saying this is the worst Queensland team in a long time. No disrespect to Corey Allen. He had a good year for South, but Corey Allen was a starting fullback for Queensland in game three. I like I, I remember it just it just didn't I'm pretty sure TV ratings were terrible. TV ratings was shit. To like not as many people cared about it because it was after the season. And that's kind of like kind of what I'm thinking about um the international game. Like being after the grand final, the grand like it, it, I don't know. You, you kind of have to do it there, but like, I don't know. I, I genuinely have no idea. But then how I feel. I, I like it. I, I do, but I don't. I, I love do, it, but I don't. I like it. the rep month because, like I said, those blokes in international can get the proper combo set, yep. and Origin can be like a little bit like it used to be, where all the Queensland and New South Wales are trying out for the Australian kid. Yeah. And they disrespect to Luai and Toho and the Samoans because they showed how much it meant to them this year. It would test their loyalty and I think will expand the international game vastly when you have those guns representing Samoa over the Blues. But I, does that kill Origin a little bit? No, because I remember a few years ago I, when I got a bit sick of them with Fitler, the team is still pretty strong. This is just before White um, retired from international rep footy. Like, you had Adekar and Lomax in the wings now, for example, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then you can have maybe Garrick and Campbell Grant. No, Trebojevic, Latrell, Campbell Grant can be in that mix anyway. You know what I mean? The team, yeah. the I, team I, is still going to be yeah. really, really strong. It, it might feel like it may be missing a few, like it'll feel like you're missing those few big names, but I don't know. Um, I love it. Having, it, yeah, having, it having a red month, I think, would work. Again, I, I would do the Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday thing. Um, and then, like, somewhere in between, like, you've got, like, a Samoa Tonga. Well, they can do a week by week, because international yeah. footy is a different pace to origin footy. Fiji, Papua New Guinea, Cook Islands. Maybe France uh, or England. Yeah, Lebanon. Um, yeah, something like, you'll be right to tell them. You'll be right for the talent, and then yeah. after those weeks are done, get back into normal footy. Yeah. And uh, plus, you once again, it's only once you get to 20 teams in the comp, I reckon. Because then you can dismiss everyone once, and then you're set. Yeah. And that's easily the most fair way to sell a comp. Like only 20 games in the season. Yeah, but you have and 19 that, games in the season. Yeah, and you have that one game, the month in between for Origin and your 
international game and you can have another international team at the end of the year. So you do 19 rounds and a rep month? Yes. And then finals? Yeah. I don't hate that. That works. Like, that works. Because you still get the nearly same amount of games as you would get compared to like a regular season foot which went for 29 weeks? Uh, 27. 27 plus finals and 31. So, um, so yeah, yeah, you're still not missing much, you know. 19 plus like a five week rep month. Uh, it's 24. So you're losing three weeks. And, the, um, and yeah. then see the players were like that as well. Yeah. But in theory, I think we're still getting more footy. The because of the international, so they'd be more well rested in between, you know. Yeah. Um, so. Like, I, I don't mind that. Like, and I think that way you could, if you want to, if you think it, the season's getting too short, you can bring back the nines at the start of the year. The nines, yes. I like. I, I really liked the nines. I, I don't know why. I found oh. it fun. I loved it as well, um, especially after we get and win the nine. You feel untouchable. Like I don't care who we're versing. We're gonna rock up and we got pinch on. Like when Sass won in twenty four and then won the nines in twenty fifteen with Matt King in Golden Point. I'm like, mate, I'm like, mate, bring on anyone, I don't care. Yeah. Bring on your Melbourne, bring on your Roosters, mate. We've got a pincher. Because we had we had the World Nines at one point, didn't we? Like yeah, yeah, because Ponga had that one game there. I, I didn't I don't know, I didn't I don't I barely remember it, so like it really didn't stand out. But I don't know, I I loved the the, the idea of the nines at the start of the year. So you can do the nines, the all stars, and then the preseason challenge. Yeah. Um with the nines, like I have an idea. An exciting way to like make the nines even cooler. So it doesn't just kind of feel like it it'll be like an exhibition kind of thing, sort of. You'll get your you'll get your some stars you like that you want to help win if you're trying to like get the extra hundred K or whatever it is. Or you could like get some young blood. But what if, right, to make it more exciting, to make the nines more exciting, we have like a legend for each team. A legend for each team, oh. um, joining and like, because Freddie Fittler in uh, 2014, I think, 10 years after he retired, scores an intercept try and it was like a really, really cool moment, cool um, cool thing to watch, uh, like him wind the clock back. So what if we get like a legend for each team, it doesn't have to be like a full like goat, like it doesn't have to be a Freddie of sorts, but like... And then, you know how they do, like, heritage jersey announcements? Yeah, yeah. What if they do, like, a legend announcement, like, two weeks in? That would get some, a lot of hype, I reckon. Yeah. Like, imagine, like... You don't think social media these these days would eat that up? Oh, mate, like, little, even little teaser, like, imagine they've a merit scoring on winning try for South. Yeah, like, oh, like a teaser. Like, you know how they have, like, a little clip of, like, not, like, a little section of a jersey of the heritage jersey or something, and it'd be, like, a date? What if it's, like, a... You do it like a jersey, so you can see what era they were playing in, or um, and like a legend, or like a a hint, like a little a little clue to like see if people can try and decode it and figure out who the legend's gonna be. Oh, that'd be cool. Or what if, like, because I was thinking, right? They they my my original plan was if they announce it um, going into the thing, but what if they do the clue and then you don't know who it is until like the day of, oh, till the know. day they start playing. Like that until they run out on the pitch, I reckon. Yeah. The tunnels. Yeah. I like, because like I'm a big WWE fan now. Like, I'm so into my WWE. And seeing Legends return and stuff, it's super cool. Imagine Footy having that for the Nines. Like, that they don't have an entrance scene, so it's not like you can just go, like, have them run out of the tunnel. Probably. No apple juice, do, 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 do. Huh? No apple juice, do, 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 do. No. No apple juice. Um, it, it's like. Imagine just um, oh, I can just picture like um, imagine Benji captain coaching the nine team Ooh. like that would that would be insane. That would be fun. Imagine like a Matty Bowen running around for the Cowboys or a JT. You could you could get like a Cliffy Lions probably still goes around. He, he's still playing. Yeah, no Cliffy Lions will Cliffy Lions will play for Manly. That'll be a big one. Oh, a sixty-five year old. Playing. He's still playing he's in still the country. Fit. He's still fit. I'm telling you. I got my connection. He's still playing. Yeah. He's still playing. He is. He like. I remember going to Legends of League, which they killed right before uh, COVID. I think, yeah, which yeah. sucked because I only went to the, to one and it was so cool um, seeing all these legends. And then never got to, like they've never done it since, and it, it's, it's sad because I'd be going every single year. Um, but like imagine, like 
like Cliffy Lyons was playing then and he was the oldest one there. It's been six years since then. Five I, got, years. I just had an idea for it. What? Mario Free gets his own back on Benny Elias. Fucking trim that little cunt. I don't know if we have like those 80s guys. Maybe if they're. <laughs> If no, no, they want to run on I can't, Mario's brain's cooked Yeah, not Mario Like any any 80s besides like Cliffy Cliffy's probably the oldest one I can still know mm. um, But like anyone anyone like 2000s or 2010s Like Mark, like Mark Amelia or Willie Mason for the Yeah, books. like a Willie Mason would definitely go G.I. would probably go mm. um, The Grenna Crot and End again oh. Yeah, imagine a Goenna in 2025 oh. That would uh, Like tell me Tell me this isn't a good idea This is perfect He's cooking. And like, it, it, it's it's just the perfect storm for like, social media, right? We, are, as content creators, we would eat it up. Bro. And like, just as con social media consumers, media consumers, just like, the build up to the nines, figuring out who the legends could be, oh, that would be incredible. The build, man. The yes. build and the pop. Oh. Yeah, like, seeing, and like, imagine, like a, another Freddy Intercept try kind of thing, like a, like a Joey John snorting the line from the sideline. Yeah, like imagine Gi doing what he did to the, against the Broncos, doing that because there's only nine on the field now, so he's going to be harder to tackle. Just like a, a something similar to that. Like it'd be. Oh man. Like imagine Gi stepping eight guys to score. Okay. I, I did like the bonus point thing that they had as well. Yeah, underneath the post. Um, yeah, that was great. That's it was a cool and the drop kick is, thing and the drop kick itself conversion. Yeah. Um. Oh, tell oh, me, tell me, it, tell me it's not the perfect, tell like, me why the perfect, uh, like, yeah, you, so you said t 20 teams, which I think is quite a while away, yeah. um, you could still, you could still do the rep month soon-ish, like in the next couple of years yeah. without it being 20 teams, like yeah. with 18, um, and you'd just have it a bit longer, uh, because I think everyone playing once 17 games isn't enough, so you do like 23 games? Maybe, you can keep it 24 I don't know You're but anyway I think we glaze the nines enough now I, yeah I think like the the like because I don't know the international game I don't know I'm saying the footy season's too long and then I'm saying add the nines because that nines idea is just perfect to me I, I don't know I love it I like um, it you got something in there there's yeah. something in there um, talking okay. about more footy yep how about Panthers pulling out of the World Cup challenge, but potentially rescheduling. Yes. Uh, oh, they. I, I did not know that. Um, well, remember they put the tweet out. Panthers saying we want to match Magic Round, and they can use that week as a buy for the Panthers. But really, they're playing the World Cup challenge. That would be cool. I would. I would love that. Because you uh, get an extra game. You got nine games instead of the eight. Well, they also usually have a Women's Origin. Yes, on the race. Thursday. So yeah. what if no? It's it's, all, it's on the Thursday. So what if you do like a World Club challenge into Women's State of Origin, and then into the three days of like on the Thursday you just have the World Club challenge, Women's State of Origin. Yeah, I that, like that that could be great. That'd be great. Yeah, I like that. Um, well, man, what, what cookings are these? Mate, yeah. Valendis, mate, Harris, we're fucking available, man. There's so many concepts available, so I can see why that they're getting rid of. They've gotten rid of the nines. Got rid of the city versus country and the. Um, but yeah, the Prime Minister's, they're, like, I don't know, the World Cup Challenge is like... Well, saying that World if, Cup Champions isn't for everyone, but yeah. the Pamref. If, like, the World Champions. They're, they're on a four-peat, haven't won a, haven't won a World Cup Challenge. Uh, they're cooked. Um, they fell off. They, like, <laughs> it... <laughs> so flat team. It's, um, it's, like, ha it was 13-12 last year to St. Helens. I don't really know. Um, that was... Really. I think that was the was year before because Lewis Dodd hit the field goal with the pissing was that, not, uh, was that not last year? This year? I don't know. But Lewis Dodd hit the winning field goal. Yeah. And like... That's a sign. He's going to do it again for Penrith. To be able to... Like a for a Super League team to beat Penrith, the greatest team we've ever seen, it either means Penrith were not taking it seriously or Super League were like... Actually... I think it was St. Helens. Um, I don't... No, I think it was Wigan. Wigan or St. Helens? It was Wigan because I think Wigan went back to back. Because I remember Jack Cole was playing half back and they were playing really dumb footy. Yeah. And then cool. It was in the pissing rain at Penrith where Lewis still hit the field goal. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so two years ago. Okay. Two um, years ago, there we go. But yeah, like just having like okay, we'll talk about the Wigan thing, right? Uh oh. the Wigan CEO came out and into like doing an interview for SEN I think and he said 
that Wigan are probably the only team in the world that would not take Cleary. What? Insane. I think he's still drunk from the bloody parties, mate, from the he has celebration. Bevan French, who... I mean, he's uh, still like, at least twice like, already. He's been great in Super League, probably one of the best Super League players, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know the other guy's name. Harry Smith, something like that. Henry Smith. Something like that. I, I don't know his name. Um, yet you wouldn't take Cleary over some guy named Harry. If that's his name, Liam. I don't, I don't know his name. Goober. Um, We're Mr. Goober for now. Because you're picking Cleary over yeah. anyone that's playing rugby league right now. It, it's not even like an option uh, to not pick Cleary there. Um, yeah. I think he's a bit. I think he's on something because um, there is no world you don't play. Uh, you don't pick your clear if it's available. Um, you wouldn't take him if you can get him. But luckily for us and our offense, Cleary has said he's not going anywhere. He's not going to Super League. Um, just to be closer to Mary Fowler, he's going to stay in the NRL probably with another three comps before he even considers going anywhere. And. Yeah, he's he's on track to become maybe the greatest player we've ever seen. All right, if he left the Super League, that would be a real well, like, yeah. jaw dropping. Yeah, like Joey Johns played for Warrington for like one season. I think it was just I don't even know why he did. I think I, I, I read his book, but I can't remember. I don't know if it was to. Wait, you can read? Escape. <laughs> so I, don't I'm if, a I don't know if it was to escape suspension or if that was someone else that signed with the Super League team to. Like play some suspension games out. I don't think that was Joey though. But he played in Warrington. Um, was a huge deal over there. But then came back the the like. He only played that in the off season. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, if Cleary went over there and stayed there, that's like the biggest thing transfer ever to happen. Ever. Yeah, biggest transfer. So I'm about transfers. Final stretch. Gumperson leaving. The yes, Gutherson is allowed to talk to other teams about, uh, like, negotiate with other teams. Um, where do you think he ends up if there's, he leaves the Eels? There's three places yep. that's really standing out for me. You've got the Roosters, because they've lost a bit of love experience right now, haven't they? With yeah. Hargreaves, Kiri, Manu. Right? I wouldn't lead to Roosters, but yeah, go on. I have him at my six to get some creativity going. Yep. And Sam Walken just can do the kicking game. Gufferson's got enough ability to just create for others, I reckon. My second choice... Uh, yep. Sorry, my second choice will be... I would like him at the Dragons. I think it's a clear path. Gufferson... Sorry, not Gufferson. Sloan was a bit of a position sometimes at fullback. He's a hell of an athlete. He's really fast. I reckon he'll be even better on the wing. Um, the back line, they are losing Lomax, so there is a spot opening up. But uh, their back line, they have Sloan at fullback, they are losing Lomax, but they have Rabelar on the other wing. And oh, then, I heard they're shopping him around as well. Are they? Yeah, they got Fiene, both the, one Fiene at the centre, one on the wing. Yeah. And, and then, then Sully. Sully, and then they've signed Val Holmes. Yeah, so they might have both Fiene boys on the wing, and, and Sully and Holmes are the centres. I didn't know they were going to go to Rabalawa. Yeah, they're shopping um, around the hood. But yeah, if you're moving Sloan to the wing, yeah. you drop one of those Fee, fee games, Fee Nays. Yeah, Fee Nays, boys. Um, and then you want Gutho at fullback. Gutho, I, I Gutho. don't like the Roosters thing. I prefer the Dragons one. And you had one more team. I had Canberra. Canberra. Canberra makes the most oh, sense man, for me. Can Canberra, I think they need elite. Their spine is very average. Foggy's the gun. Okay, weeks has been good. Weeks has been Strange, massive. Strange is coming up. Strange is coming up, but he's a natural center. Remember the Origin yeah. game? He got a hat trick at the center. I think with Gufferson there, you can Gufferson at fullback, Kalo Weeks at 5 8, which means you move Strange to center, and Foggy, you can do your kicking game. And you leave Denny Levi or Tom Starling as your hooker. I think Levi played ball this year. He was solid. He held his spot um, there. I was probably going to yeah. get dropped, but he. Stuck out this year. But yeah, Gutho at fullback, then like Xavier Savage on the wing. Uh, Sebastian Chris can go in the other wing. Yeah. And then you got Tomoko so and. leaving. And he got the sense Tomoko and who else then? Uh, Strange. Yeah, Tomoko and Strange, yeah, there you go, man. Like, that's so who a... else is normally there then? Um, is it Schiller? 
But he's going to the Knights this year though. Okay, then yeah, Strange, I guess, center. And then Fogarty and... Kayla Weeks in the half. Kayla Weeks in the half, yeah. I think Kayla Weeks probably better in the half this year. Um, Mixed bag. He was I, I would lean towards Raiders out of those three. Raiders is the number one priority for yeah. me, I reckon. Raiders definitely need someone like a Gutho. Well, they lost Rapp and that was the experience, so. Yeah. Um, another player, Selwyn, Selwyn Cobbo. Mate. He is oh, mate. Uh, more than likely going to go to the Cowboys. Mate, I like that. Yeah. That's your replacement for Holmes right there. Yeah. Younger. Granted, he's not as consistent at Holmes and more is, but he, yeah. if he gets it right, he's going to be a superstar. It's probably the best option on the market yeah. um, and to have replace a, Holmes. I have another team that could replace him, to go after him if they're interested. Well, apparently Broncos have the choice. You have, you have a Stags goes or Cobbo goes. I'm picking Stags 10 times out of 10. To stay or go? To stay. Okay, yeah. Cobbo, go. I think he can be a potential troublemaker. Cobbo? I think Cobbo, my problem with Cobbo is the yeah. errors. I um, think with Robertson, they arm him out. Yeah. I think, and plus, he is very similar to Sue Lee and Marnie Crane, something out of nothing. You know, I think he could be a very scary player under Robertson. So. Uh, it's a near Roosters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Roosters are Roosters losing Sue um, Lee. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a spot open there, I guess. Yeah, massive. Or a wing, if you want to play him on the wing. Yeah. Actually, no, you've got two people staying in no, yeah. guard. You'll be playing uh, centre. I, I, would, I would put him centre. Yeah, you'll leave him at centre. And then one more, uh, Ben Hunt. Ben uh, Hunt. He's in talks to leave the Dragons. Like, he's immediately been allowed to talk to other teams. Jeez, that's a rough call, man. I know he's on big money, but he's Mr. Dragons for me, man. Yeah. If you have him there, like... I, I don't hate it because he is getting older. They are starting to make some money moves. Uh, Sonny Holmes and Cameron well, Gillard. He's got to play five. He's got to play halfback though. That's what they're trying to figure out. Well, the, um, apparently the rumor is Wishart is he's an Illawarra boy anyway. So yeah, signing Tyron Wishart. Tyron Wishart would be a great signing. Like but it's not I Hunt think Hunt. Ben Hunt is better than Tyron Wishart, obviously. Yeah. But it's like definitely a look to the future. They've signed Holmes and Cameron Gillard. They've got rid of Lomax. They're getting rid of Hunt. Um, the the team's going to be very different next year. Uh, anyway, for the final move for Hunt though, I think there's a couple options. I reckon him to the Bulldogs, that's exactly what they need. He's just he's like sexy, but just that much better at everything he's doing, I reckon. Yeah. And a bit more creative and vocal and experience. Bulldogs would be a good thing if they have the salary cap. Yeah, I, I think they, okay. surely they've spent quite a lot of money. Well, they're like out of a car and same yeah. with Toya, so they have a little bit left, I reckon. Um, I think. I said this to you off camera once you find out. I reckon him at the Titans, they are a definite top four Smokey. I yeah. love it. Ben uh, Hunt back going back to Queensland is such a good move. I don't know about top four, but I reckon uh, I, I think it would definitely be pack, a big boost. With that pack of Campbell Gillard, for the wake of Tino Fillmore for Feeder. Oh, I see Campbell Gillard's going to the Dragons. He's going to Titans, isn't he? Yes. Who's going to the Dragons? It was Holmes and someone else. Holmes, Gufferson's rumoured, and Cookie. Cook, that's the one. I don't know why I said Kim Gillard. Cook's going to the thing, uh, which anyway. is kind of a bummer for Little, because uh, Little played really, really it, well this he year. He did play well, but back to Ben Hunt, and I reckon maybe the Dolphins. Katoa had a great year, but maybe you can have Nick Rumi out as a 14. Yeah, um, or I, I like the Bulldog shout. Um, that's exactly if, what they need. If they can afford him. Uh, he, like that, that team, they are definite, like, definite chance to win the ball. Oh, relax. It's not... It, the the E doesn't end in the fall. They're going to fall off hard, unfortunately, for the Bulldogs fans. Sorry, Savage, Sherry, Winston. Sorry, heroes. There is. But you guys are falling off, man. I'm sorry, man. And unless they, you get... They, they, have, they have the team to, like... I think everyone... They, they've achieved massive this year. They all... They either just make the eight or just miss out on the eight. But if you sign Ben Hunt, that you, team, signing cemented, Ben Hunt. Cemented and probably gets top four. But I still think they're a giant in the middle short. No, I, I, I think they make the eight still. Um, if they get Hunt cemented in the eight. They're, they're like a premiership threat if they sign Ben Hunt. Oh, I still, you don't think signing Ben Hunt to the Bulldogs Makes them a premiership threat after the year they've had this year. No, because I think they overachieve massively. I think they'll make the top four, but they won't win the comp. You don't think they're a threat? Signing Ben Hunt? No. Nah. Sexton? 
Imagine Burton and Ben Hunt. I think they're still mixing a big forward in the middle. So I will be looking for a big forward in the middle first, and maybe like Ben Hunt. I don't know. I do know. So yeah. uh, they've signed Montoya as well. That's a great chat with other Carl even. I love that chat. So the the I think that's the transfer was wrapped up though. Is anyone else? No, I think on the that's, move. Oh, so Chiki moved to Manly. Uh, yeah. And who else moved? Just Vangen moved to Manly. And the, the one last rumor before we wrap it up. The little rumor is going around. It's Ilias to the Knights for a swap for Jackson Hastings. I don't know, Sass cannot afford that. I don't know how that's going to work. Yeah, what? <laughs> you haven't seen social media last no, couple of days? I have not seen that. Yeah, because everyone's oh, Hastings was beloved by Wayne Bennett when he was in England, so... That's the little rumours going around. I don't want Hastings, I think he's a troublemaker. But... At least he's on too much money, but Hastings on more money, so... Yeah. Interesting. Fine. Did not know that one. Um... Okay, so that's going to do it for this episode. Bit of a long one. Probably our longest yet. Yeah. Um, comment below what you think of the international game. What you think of my brilliant nines idea and tell me why you love it because no one could hate that idea. It's perfect. And... Um, or your transfer wrap-ups. Who you reckon yeah, going where? Who's going where? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it. Uh, like, subscribe, share, do whatever you want. Uh, that's stick, it. Stick in your butt. See you more. Bye-bye. See you more.